this week on the season premiere of USF Football, A New Era on the Bay. Highlights from a season opening win. Caught it at the 15 to the 10. Side steps a man and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, USF. And a closer look at the hard work that made it possible. Boom. See how you're going to hit it. Done a good job of getting some really good football players in here and coaches. Compete, compete, compete. Plus, you'll hear from Coach Taggart and his team as they reflect on the identity of the program. I want us to be a blue-collar, hard-working football team that, that wants to get after it and wants to win. We got two clubs that are Ready? Right? Here we are. Yes, sir. Wow. The greatest football state in the country in its greatest city. Where speed grows with the oranges. And boys are turned into men. Draft picks, champions, leaders. The future is forged in green and gold. Who has it better than us? Nobody. Our leader, homegrown. There it is. Good job. Good job. Good job. That's it right there. With a perfect pedigree as a player and coach, young and wise, nurturing and demanding. That rare mix to lead our program. They are our hometown team. As hardworking as their families, as prideful as their city, charging into the future. They are the Bulls. This is the rise of USF football. USF Football, a new era on the Bay. USF Football, a new era on the Bay is brought to you by Canes Furniture, proud sponsor of the USF Bulls. Canes, quality so good, it's guaranteed for life. And by Tampa General Hospital, trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. It's in the air. You can almost smell it, taste it, and you can definitely feel it. Carried along in the soft bay breeze, it's football season again. The balls. Time to tailgate and migrate to Raymond James Stadium, where the brotherhood of the green and gold catches up on old stories and begins to write new ones. Technically, it's still summer. In the mind and heart, it's time, though, for the boys and girls of fall. A party atmosphere born of the excitement surrounding Coach Willie Taggart and his Bulls as they look to continue building upon the success and momentum of a year ago. A brilliant day for a special team in place and a remarkable time of year. While the party continued in the stands, on the field it became all business. A time to put an entire offseason to the test. With new coordinators on both offense and defense, the first challenge for the New Look Bulls, Florida A&M. It was time to shut out all the distractions and focus on the Rattlers. Wow, Carson Royal has just crushed, loses his helmet. Just an aggressive style of defense up front. For Tom Allen's group, I love it. A lot of stunts, a lot of action, and they're a strong, athletic defensive front. Keep playing hard. Remember the scoreboard says, keep playing. Oh, 
for six on third down, make it all for seven. Forget the technical description of the Bulls' new defense. How about just plain smothering? Pressure set, fourth down, what a play. USF just shooting right up the gap. Nothing is more pleasing in football than being rewarded for hard work. And the Bulls were proving they had been spot on since before the spring game. This pass is intercepted. Another true freshman, a young, talented team. Young they are, with no fewer than 49 freshmen on the roster. Real yeah. big year for them. And big changes, you know, a new offense. They were over a pro style set last year. We're going to see an up tempo spread out of the offense. With change comes growing pains. Deep over the middle, it's picked off. There are no shortcuts. But with a strong foundation, months and months in the making, flowers in the new offense seem to improve quarter by quarter on opening night. Flowers, and he's in trouble. Flowers trying to race away from a Darius Smith and throws. Got a man wide open, caught, and this one is a touchdown. A Saturday night by the Bay, and the only thing sparkling more under the lights than the Gold Bulls helmets were the eyes of the players under them. First and ten, Flowers with time. Sideline, Johnson, he's right on, makes the catch. Dearness Johnson, touchdown. Touchdown, USF, 45 yards. Second down handoff to Mack, who shoots up the gap, and Marlon Mack off to the races. Left side now, here's Quinton Flowers. He's got a lot of room, cuts it inside. Inside the five, he dives in. Touchdown, USF. And the Bulls starting to pour it on early third quarter. And that wouldn't change even when the quarterback did. He'll slip out in front. Bench goes deep over the middle. Owen has his man. It's caught by Dillon. Alpina Dillon down the sideline. Touchdown. USF was a snowball rolling downhill, gaining more and more momentum as the game wore on. By the time it was over, they had scored the most points they had in four years. It was a tremendous way to start the season. But they also know that's all it is, a beginning. Lots of work ahead if they're going to keep it going. Every journey starts with a single step. took the field, how proud I was of you guys. All the work you put in since last December. If we're gonna be a winning football team, we gotta do the things that winning football team do, right? Okay? I want family on two, one, two, family! Football is a game of change. From half to half, game to game, season to season. And the 2015 version of the Bulls has made plenty of changes in their never ending pursuit of excellence. You know, the up tempo is new, you know, new new coaches, new guys, you know, new system. Enough time to get there, you see what I mean? High energy type of coaches, and everybody's feeding off that energy. New offense, you know, we got running an up tempo offense. What? Boom, see where you're gonna hit it? Up tempo, we're trying to get right to the ball, get right to the ball. When you go a little faster, which is what we're doing, I think it really gets the young people really excited. Try to go fast, catch the defense off guard. Real quick, real quick, hurry up. I want to see this. Go ahead, run this real quick, hurry up, hurry up, what's this? The way we're working is new. Now we're banking on the results to be new. I think we came out with a mentality ready to play. I have a plan and I have a patience to see it through and uh, we've done a good job of getting some really good football players in here and coaches. Compete, compete, compete. He was looking for great fit and good people. Uh, it just so happens that these good people are really good ball coaches too. 
Coach Hope, I think he brings a nice blue collar mentality. I'm Coach Danny Hope. I'm the new offensive line coach at the University of South Florida. I also have some uh, run game coordinator responsibilities, if you will. Uh, prior to coming to USF, I was uh, the head football coach at Purdue. David Reeves, uh, my coach quarterbacks here and co-coordinator and uh, played at Appalachian State, played quarterback at Appalachian State, uh, son of a coach. I certainly believe in Coach Taggart, his vision. When you play fast, they tend to simplify uh, defensively. You know, you think of the NFL offense. Tom Brady's a Hall of Fame quarterback, but when you look at their offense, you know, they're not huddling. They're going fast and, and they're putting stress on the defense at all times. <laughs> College football evolves a bit every year, and a program has to keep up with the changes in the game. Willie Taggart and his new staff are installing a high-energy, up-tempo strategy, looking to run circles around opponents on both offense and defense. High energy, man. Coaches bringing energy from both sides of the ball. And in our conference, that's what they do, high tempo. So with the offense moving faster, that's gonna make the defense a high tempo defense also. Fast, 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 fast. Play within 15 seconds every time. Uh, Tom Allen, I'm the defense coordinator here in South Florida. Been coaching for 23 years, most previously at uh, Ole Miss. Swing arms, swing arms. Being from a program that, that runs that style, both offensively and defensively, uh, what it means to me is it's a different approach you know, in how you do everything, your whole entire program. That's what I want to see. Bring it up right here. Finish off this drive. It's, it's a game meant to be fun. You know, if, it's, if we're not having any fun, then we're missing something. I mean, I would definitely say we're always in hurry up mode. <laughs> so, you know, on the field translates on the real, real life classroom and all that. So. Our kids respond to them, especially with their, their passion and energy that they bring. Um, Every day, they have juice. They have it every day. It's not artificial. It's the real deal. USF football, a new era on the Bay, is brought to you by Hooters. Get your game on. The original wing joint since 1983. By the Florida Lottery. More than $28 billion to education and counting. Just imagine. And Tampa General Hospital. Trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. This segment of USF Football, A New Era on the Bay, is brought to you by Canes Furniture, proud sponsor of the USF Bulls. Canes, quality so good, it's guaranteed for life. Awesome. That was big time. That was big time, big time, big time, the best student section in the country. Student section behind the crowd just and loud and into the game, and that was that was big for our guys, you know. And uh, that was great to see you come out, you get to run down there, and all of them so enthusiastic and just they're big time. They were just flying around, you know. They're flying around, and and, and you seen multiple guys around the ball, you know multiple guys around the ball and just, and they were having fun. You, you just watched those guys that were having fun with each other when they were flying around, but more importantly, just how they would get into the ball. Again, we stressed that a lot, and, and Coach Allen is all over those guys about getting to the ball, and um, that was good to see. You know, we wanted to we wanted to get the ball out a little more than what we did, but um, it was great for them to fly around. That's what we expect. That's kind of what we, 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 we want out of that defense.
I just want to thank my whole line for, you know, how, uh, give them uh, Quentin, Quentin Flowers time, you know, to do what they do and just trying to get open, you know, trying to make something happen, you know, stand up and, and he threw it to me, so, you know, I called it and just thanks for that. Uh, you know, Coach T. Scratch, you know, uh, keep working. You know, it ain't over until that clock stays zero zero. So we kept playing, we kept working, and we just all just kept doing our job. And then it came out to 50, 51, 51 to three. So that means we did good. We did our job. Coach is happy. We happy. Right back. Flowers now inside the 10 on his feet. Diving touchdown. Quinton Flowers. in the backfield now, the junior running back. We talked about the trio of backs. He'll slip out in front. Bench goes deep over the middle. Though, and has his man. It's caught by Dillon. Alpena Dillon down the sideline. Touchdown. Yeah, I think going into it, we was like, just relax, stay calm. Don't let adversity take over and just relax and made out key executing that what we can do. And even though it's late in the game, they're going to run it the way they want to run it. Keeper by Bench, and Bench is going to go in for a touchdown. How happy are you? Hi. <laughs> Going out of Florida State, it's a tough place for anybody to play. How much are you looking forward to that I mean, opportunity? Yeah, yeah, I'm extremely excited. You know, you're, when you're younger, that, that's what you always, you know, that's what you always dream about is playing in one of these big time stadiums. Uh, they're, they're a phenomenal team. Obviously, I think they're ranked 10th in the country, and you know we got, we're going to have to be on our A game to play them. And just like any other team, we want to we want to play and we want to be on our A game. But you know, against them, it's, it's just a little you know a little more umps to you know try to go up, up there and, and try to compete with guys that, that are that good. USF Football, A New Era on the Bay, is brought to you by Canes Furniture, proud sponsor of the USF Bulls. Canes, quality so good, it's guaranteed for life. And brought to you by the energy-saving conservation programs of Tico People's Gas. If we don't win this year, that's on us. We don't have the excuses, oh, these aren't our guys. We talk about learning how to win, okay? The things that it takes. But more importantly, it takes everybody. I'm so freaking proud of you guys, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, but what in this stuff? We ain't gonna lighten up, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't gonna tighten up, all right? Here we go, let's get a break. I want to be a physical group that hits anything that walks, that is smart, and that isn't scared and doesn't back down from anyone. Tighten up, toes behind the line. Lunge and reach. 15, straight leg march, 15. I want us to be a blue-collared, hard-working football team that, that wants to get after it and wants to win. I think our identity is just family, all in. You know, Coach T got us wearing these bracelets that say all in on them. Everybody has one. It just means you buy into the program. You know, you buy in what it means to be a bull, what it means to be, to be a student athlete at USF. You don't want nobody to beat you with nothing from the weight room to outside. Somebody do 225 in bench 10 times, you you finna get on the bench, you wanna hit at least 12 so you can get up, sell out, because you wanna be better than the next man besides you.
talking uh, about having just a one hit wonder. We want to build something that's going to last. And I think that's what's happening for us now is, is we're building it. You know, I have a, a, a quote sit right on my desk when everyone come in there and say, climbing is easier than hanging on. You know, and, and that's what our guys are doing now. We're climbing back to where we all know this football program could and should be. And, and I'm excited about where we're at in that process and, and, and uh, really excited about this year's football team. How we do it on Friday? We got two clubs in the Rick Flair. Ready? Woo! Talk about Alkino uh, Watson, one of our former players. Great kid, great young man. Um, always smiled, always did something to make you laugh. And uh, he's one of, one of those people that you just love being around, and he made you feel important. Such a great kid. Uh, he was in my office a couple times, and just lit up the room. Is is what what you've seen has been read about with him is all true, and. It's tragic. Um, I think those guys are going to go play well together. They're going to play together and play for each other and um, play with, with Aquino in their hearts heavily. Mm -hmm.